Well, that gives me the heebie-jeebies. In the middle of nowhere in the new forest and someone walks by hiking. I know they're allowed to, but you wouldn't expect anyone to be this far in. Oh, I think he's going now. Yep, I'm safe. <laughs> hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name's Steve, this Harry, and today you join us in the new forest in the middle of the afternoon. Nice, bright, sunny afternoon. Not a cloud in the air, and we've just got bright blue sky everywhere you look. And you may be asking yourself, You're wasting your time. Was it? You're wasting your time. That's not going to be the right conditions for a woodland photography. And you are right. It's not the right conditions for a, this kind of photography. But I have got a secret weapon with me. And it is my D90 Nikon DLSR camera. And it's been converted to infrared. So um, it basically turns the whole rule book upside down. So whatever you see is dark, like the leaves are dark or the trunks are dark. It basically flips it round. Anything that's dark turns light. Um, and then that way we can get some really good black and white images without everything being dull. As you can see behind me, everywhere you look, it's just really just bland this time of year. Awful, you've got no real colour, everything's just drab. So by using an infrared camera, I can get all these, see I don't like these holly bushes. See those holly bushes there? Oh, I can't stand them. But in infrared photography, they will just pop bright white which will make everything look absolutely fantastic so I'm just going to take a walk around now should be able to get something um, it's about three hours left before the sun goes down so we're at early afternoon um, I'll see you in a minute see what I can get right so I've made it into a little bit more of a clearing uh, sun's still there behind us uh, we've got plenty of light still and what I'm doing is I'm looking for hot spots totally the opposite of what you normally look for um, in woodland photography you look, look normally for really soft gentle light make that ethereal look but um, with the infrared you want really really bright hot spots shall we say the things that you normally steer clear of um, so that's what I'm going to be looking for just stuff that's basically burnt out um, I found my first composition. I've already taken a picture of it, but the sun's moved now. So when I explain it to you, it might be a little bit different from um, what you'll see when I show it in a second. Um, I've been looking on YouTube for absolutely ages for people who've gone out in the woodland and done infrared photography. I've seen a lot of um, architectural pictures and a lot of landscape pictures, but I've never really seen anyone who's gone into the woodland and has taken pictures there. So I thought I'd better give it a go today. Um, I'll talk you through the first image. I've already taken the shot. Sun's moved a bit now, so it'll be a little bit different in the back of the camera. So I'm just going to autofocus and I'm right in the center of that pine tree in the middle there. The sun's moved a bit now, so it's not as bright as it was, but as you can see on the right hand side, all those branches are being caught absolutely fantastic and they just light up bright white. I'm not sure, I'm not a scientist, so I don't know why infrared changes everything but i'm just happy that it does um so we've got tree on the left hand side tree on the right hand side and we've got the pine tree in the middle i'll be just shooting um f9 autofocus 30th of a second and i'm about 70 mil or so so i've already taken a few i'll take a couple more anyway so i'll just fire get that in focus i'll just fire that one off and i'll pop it up for you Ideally what I'm looking for is some ivy crawling up a tree trunk. I haven't found that yet. This part of the woodland, I'm not going to get that at the moment. So I'm going to have to have a walk down a little bit further down this stream that I'm following. See if I can get anything like that. But at the moment, we've just come across my next composition. I'll just swing around and I'll show you it. At the moment, so we have really, really bright. I'll make sure I don't get my uh, shadow in the image. But we're going to be cutting out the sky. We don't need that at all. But it's just this dead tree here, basically. I'll just take you up behind the camera and I'm just going to auto focus it in now. So, as you can see, that, that branch there is absolutely sorry, that tree. So, I'll just take you behind the camera now. As you can see, this tree trunk here is almost blown out. But I think by 
editing it in Lightroom, you can start just to dull that down. I don't want to clip the image and get it super bright that you just can't recover it. But I think by shooting in RAW, you can recover some of that without going too mad. And all these branches just absolutely pop. It's uh, something new to me. I can say I've done a bit of uh, landscape with infrared, but I have never done woodland. So this is new to me as it is to everyone else. So I'm just going to have a scout around now, see if we can get some uh, ivy leaves wrapped around a trunk. now about 10 minutes or so and I've managed to come across a tree with ivy wrapped around it which is exactly what I was looking for and these um, tend to come out really well obviously when you take pictures and you're doing it in infrared you really don't know what the black and white images are going to really look like until you get them back at home like with color you know straight away what you're going to be able to pull out the colors and that with um, infrared you're just hoping that it's not too blown out or it's not too dull. You can have a, do a lot of fiddling around in Lightroom just to get it just right. There's a couple of plugins you can use. I use um, Silver Pro FX, I think it's called. That's a plugin which uh, you can add to Lightroom and I usually edit in there, then take it back into Lightroom and finish them off. But I'll just quickly show you um, the tree that I'm gonna capture. Don't run off, Howie, stay there. Right, this would be the tree that I'll be taking. Normally you don't get the sky in woodland photography, but in this instance, it's gonna be black and white anyway, so you're not even gonna notice that it's blue. But these little ivy, so these little ivy leaves, they're going all the way around, that really makes the image pop. Uh, we've got some branches still coming out, and as you can see, the sun is just really, really illuminating it. I'll take you back to the camera and I'll uh, walk you through the image. Right, you can see on the back of the camera there, I'm on F9, still nice and sharp. So we're going to have a little bit of the pathway going in, just to let you know where we are. Um, and it's just on the side of that. As you can see that the sky, when you're shooting in infrared, it just does not distract from the image whatsoever. As you can see, it's just a ball of bright light. Absolutely great. I've just focused in halfway in and I'll be taking this in portrait mode. Just going to let that... There we go, quite happy with that. Like again, like I say, with uh, infrared, you can never really know what kind of image you're gonna get. You just point and shoot and hope for the best, really. Uh, I never thought I'd say it when I'm out in the woodland, but we're coming into golden now, which I don't like. Um, I really want it just to stay bright all the time. As you can see behind me now, Sun's died down behind the canopy there, so we're not getting as much light as we should be. Um, but I have come across my last composition. I think I'll be doing a panorama of this one. So we're gonna just shoot, start there, and we're gonna work our way to about there, and we get it nice through there, and we're not gonna involve any of the sky at all, or any of the dark shadows. We're just gonna have that nice slight slither through the middle there. Uh, the good thing about infrared i keep banging on about it but it is uh the video what it's about infrared is you can actually make this scene is gonna probably look like frost like a real heavy hoar frost so by having it really bright like this it just looks like it's gonna be what's that helicopter or an airplane helicopter i'll just wait for him to uh come on hurry up So although it's bright sunshine, I know we've got a lot of frost still on the ground around here and everywhere like that, but you can actually simulate that look, which I really like. I really like the look of um, pretend frost, shall we say.
right uh, i think we'll call it a day now hope you've enjoyed today's video if you have please like and subscribe until next time see ya